We're here in King's College Chapel recording the Howells Cello Concerto, which was put into my hands by Stephen Islis three years ago. And it was just lucky timing for me that I was there when Stephen was suggesting I should do it since he was too busy to give the premiere at the time. The last movement has recently been completed by Dr. Jonathan Clinch and it was really a, just a collection of sketches that have been put together. Howell started a cello concerto in 1933 and then in 1935 his son Michael died very, very suddenly from polio and the cello concerto remained in a drawer and from his diary we can tell that each year around the anniversary of Michael's death he would bring out those sketches and he would do a bit more work on the cello concerto. So when I looked at the materials I thought it would be a good idea to do something with the third movement so that the entire concerto could be performed. <laughs> Howells' music has these enormous long lines. It's very emotional and it's very red-blooded and I think the concerto really shows Howells at his most passionate. We earlier recorded the Paul Red Magnificat and the Te Deum for the King's Label on this recording of the Howells double CD and the challenge of it was to balance the choir with the orchestra. It's very important that on the recording we have the detail of the instruments but it also captures the ambience of the chapel and for the Howells it's an important building for him and for this repertoire so it's very important that we do it in a way that honours the music I think. Herbert Howells always said that he couldn't write without a person or a place in mind and I think the Chapel of King's Cambridge was very often that place. The perfect acoustic, the perfect space, the inspiration of the architecture and the friendships that he had with people in this place. Mm -hmm.